Hi everyone, in this lesson we are going to discuss the uh, cables classification according to their voltage or their operating voltage and their operating frequency. So when we start classifying our cable, we have many many factors which will help us in selection of the cables. Okay, so the first factor is the operating voltage of the cable. Second factor is the operating frequency of the cable. Third one is the type of the conductor used inside the cable. Also the insulation level of the cable. The number of cores inside a cable. The neutral and earthing cable. And the rating factors. And finally the cross sectional area of the cable. Okay. So in this lesson, we are going to discuss the first factor, which is the operating voltage and second factor, the operating frequency. In the next lesson, we will start discussing the rest of these uh, classifications or these uh, factors. And finally, we'll have an example on cable selection. Okay. So what does an operating voltage mean? Or the operating voltage is the voltage at which our cable is operating or uh, when we install our cable uh, we install it in uh, for example in a medium voltage network or in a low voltage network or a high voltage network so according to the voltage of this network our cable will be classified okay so if it is operating in the low voltage network then it is called a low voltage cable if it is operating in the high voltage, it is called the high voltage cable and so on. So how can we know if it is a low voltage, high voltage, medium or whatever? So the low voltage cable is a cable which operates in voltage between 1 volt to 1000 volt or 1 kilovolt. So the maximum voltage at which is this um, voltage will operate or the line to line voltage is a maximum of one kilovolt so if we are working in a network which have a voltage less than 1000 volt then it means it is a low voltage network okay and we will use a low voltage cable as an example of this cable is 0.6 slash one kilovolt now what does this mean if you open any catalog for um, cables you'll find that this for example is a low voltage cable okay this one okay a three phase and neutral so this cable operates at a voltage 0.6 slash 1 and between two brackets 1.2 kilovolt so what does this mean the first number representing the line to ground voltage okay the voltage between a conductor or the phase and the ground okay this is the voltage or phase voltage at which it operates the one kilovolt is the line to line voltage or phase to phase voltage the voltage between two phases okay 1.2 kilovolt is the maximum voltage at which the cable can operate okay now as you can see here this uh, definitions for the first factor u naught and one which is u and 1.2 is um okay as you can see here okay this representing this one which is uh, appearing here beside the cable inside a catalog okay so the first one u naught is the rated power frequency voltage the voltage between a conductor or a phase and earth okay or a metallic screen which is connected to the ground the second term is the line to line voltage voltage between conductors third factor um is the maximum continuously permissible operating voltage of a cable at a time or any in any part of the network okay this is the maximum voltage at which our cable can withstand okay so as you can see also here examples of different voltage and different maximum voltages okay some standard values 
Now, a medium voltage is the same from having a range from starting from 1 kV up to 66 kV. Okay, some of the cables used is 12 slash 20 kV. Okay, this cable, this cable such as 0.6 slash 1, 12 slash 20 kV is used in 11 kV network. Medium voltage network we can use 12 slash 20 kV uh, uh, medium voltage cable. Okay, the 18 slash 30 kV can be used in the 22 kV network. 6 slash 10 can be used in 3.3 .3 kV network or 6.6 .6 kV network. Now again, here this is the operating voltage of the network itself. 3.3, 6.6, .6, 22 kV, 30, uh, 11 kV. All of these are the voltages of our network. Okay. Now this number, for example, if we have a network 11 kV, then it means that the line to line voltage is 11 kV. Okay, so as you can see, the line to line voltage is 20 kV and the phase voltage 12 kV. Okay, for the cable itself. So as you can see, this cable can withstand this voltage and this cable can withstand the 22 kV and this cable can withstand these values. Okay. The overhead conductors starting from 66 kV up to 500 kV and of course there are um, higher than 500 kV, okay, there is 1000 uh, kV and also 1500 kV, okay, the overhead uh, conductors are used in high voltage network, okay. Now here is the, the previous one, this one is a low voltage network or a low voltage cable used in a low voltage network okay and this one is a medium voltage network okay a medium voltage cable okay as you can see it's 36 kilovolt is uh, or 18 to slash 30 is in the range for the uh, medium voltage network which can be 6.6 .6, 11 kilovolt 22 kilovolt and so on okay now, as you can see here, here is an example. We have a transformer in megavolt ampere, which is a delta star transformer. Okay, delta star transformer. Usually, this transformer, since it is a delta star, delta star means that this will be a step down transformer. So, the delta, usually the delta connection is connected to the higher voltage network. Okay, and the star is connected to the lower voltage network. So as you can see, the delta is connected to the medium voltage or the medium voltage network and the star is connected to the low voltage network. So simply this is the, here we have the medium voltage and here we have the low voltage at which we supply power to our loads. Okay, now the delta connection have a three wires okay or three cores required so the three wires are rst or the red yellow blue okay or the three phase okay we don't need here the neutral or the ground okay so as you can see here this is a medium voltage network so we use a we have in the medium voltage 6.6 .6 or 11 or 22 kilovolts the operating voltage and we use the medium voltage cable same as this one okay in the low voltage network we use a low voltage cable okay as an example low voltage is less than one kilovolt which for example is 180 volt okay this cable this cable has five cores okay usually five cores which is rst rst is a three phase and we have the neutral and we have the earth okay that's why this one is called the five core this one is called the three core you can see one two three here you will have one two three four and five okay now you will notice here two important uh, notes here okay so let's delete all of this 
you can find here if you compare the uh, cross sectional area this cross sectional area cross sectional area of the core or the conductor itself with this cross sectional area you will find that the cross sectional area of the medium voltage is smaller than smaller than the cross sectional area of the low voltage okay and also we'll find that the insulation size here this insulation size is higher than the small insulation here now why is this first you have to know that the higher the operating voltage such as 6.6 .6, 11 kilovolt 22 kilovolt this is higher voltage than 180 volt more voltage more voltage leads to more insulation required so as you can see this black insulation is very large compared to the insulation in the low voltage cable why because this cable is operating at a high voltage at a medium voltage which is has which is higher voltage than the low voltage cable now second thing is that the lower cross-sectional area in case of the medium voltage compared to the low voltage cable lower cross-sectional area of the core itself why due to the presence of lower current in case of the medium network okay now remember that this is from the transformer rules the s input input power uh, or input apparent power is equal to s output approximately if we neglected the losses okay so this is the input power to the uh, input apparent power to the transformer this is the output apparent power transformer so z they should be the same okay if we neglected the losses so here the input is uh, v input multiplied by i input okay equal to v out multiplied by i out okay so as you can see in the medium voltage the voltage is high okay and the low voltage voltage is low so in order for this side to be equal to this side the current should be low in the medium voltage and high in i out okay this is a function of the transformer if it is a step up transformer increasing the voltage leads to decreasing of current okay and decreasing of voltage leads to increasing of current okay so this is why the cross-sectional area is different and why the uh, cross-sectional area is different and the insulation is different okay now last thing is that the operating frequency the frequency at which our cables operate can be 50 hertz some countries use the 50 hertz standard and other countries use the 60 hertz standard now as an example for the colors just for your own information now this is three phase uh, l1 l2 l3 or abc or um, a b c first phase second phase third phase or we can say um, in my own country they say red yellow and the blue okay so as an example the standard which i use in my own country is the first phase is the red one second phase is yellow third phase is blue and the neutral color the neutral color is black okay this is the neutral and the earth can be green or uh, green and yellow like this okay this is the earthing or the uh, protective earth or the grounding um, wire okay now this is this colors is the colors used by uk in the old code in the new code according to the iec they use brown for the uh, phase number one then black for phase number two and then gray for phase number three the neutral they use blue and for the protective earth they use these colors 
Of course, your country can have different uh, other colors. Uh, you can find other colors according to your own country. This is just an example for colors. Okay. In my own country, we use this one. Red, yellow, blue for the three phase. And black for the neutral. And earthing is uh, green, yellow. Okay.